here in the remote desert of the Old West, an entrance to the final frontier. Spaceport America in southwest New Mexico was described as the world's first purpose-built commercial spaceport. Sort of similar to uh, an airline industry, only this is the space line industry. Well, conditions here are ideal for a commercial spaceport. We are at an altitude of 4,600 feet. So for space travelers, that means the first mile is free. As you can see, it's a very remote location with a low population. And over the San Andreas Mountains is the White Sands Missile Range. So that is where the U.S. Army test launches missiles, making this location one of the only places in the U.S. with a flight-restricted zone. So far, the spaceport's main tenant is Virgin Galactic. This Virgin Galactic gateway to space building is set to serve as their headquarters. It was built specifically for Virgin Galactic, who is our anchor tenant, um, much like Delta Airlines is in Atlanta. Virgin Galactic recently test launched its Spaceship 2 in the Mojave Desert. It's a milestone for the company that plans to be the first to send paying customers on suborbital joyrides. Their passengers are going to have quite a ride and they'll be able to experience weightlessness at that altitude, um, take off their seat belts and float around a little bit. So it's going to be really uh, quite an experience. The price tag for the out of this world experience, $200,000. So far, hundreds of people have put in their down payments of $20,000. Among them, celebrities like Ashton Kutcher and Angelina Jolie, a sign that as space travel becomes privatized, the face of astronauts as we know it will change. I believe they've sold, Virgin Galactic has sold 575 tickets to date, and I believe that's more than all the people that have ever been in space. So it's pretty exciting to think that that time is now. As of now, only the Russian Space Agency has transported private citizens to space. And only a handful of astronauts have been to space as part of a private venture. Greg Olson is one of them. It was a life-changing experience for me. You know, I launched on a Russian Soyuz rocket from Kazakhstan. Um, as you know, NASA doesn't do private citizens into space. The only way you can do that is through Roscosmos, the Russian space agency. So I got to train in Russia for six months. For astronauts like Olson, the opening of space to private passengers is exciting, especially as the future of government space programs in the U.S. is uncertain. Other companies also are going to begin launches in the next year or two. So uh, I think the opportunities for tourists are great. Companies like SpaceX. Early March, they launched their Dragon capsule capable of sending seven people to a space station. For now, space entrepreneurs won't set an exact date for when they'll send the first paying passenger to space. Virgin Galactic estimates it will happen in 2014. But as the space race becomes more of a private business venture, those with their eyes up at the skies hope the competition will be healthy. I think it will help international cooperation because, you know, if there's anything competitive about it, this is the kind of competition we should be having instead of lobbing bombs at each other. In New Mexico, Liz Wall, RT.